such a force, right? He's been so annoying to play against, but the smokes have started to come in. And of course, we do see the execute coming onto A side as well. Aziz is casually running in. He does have the classic long with armor to work with, half armor that is, but they have control of the side and they need to make this happen. E even trades coming in that relay bolt, trying to push them back. But I don't think that's enough information. Oh, oh, just been detected and he will be taken out. That is unfortunate. Yeah, he was stuck there and all he could do is take the fight. But out goes Papichulo and down comes Kishi as well, thanks to Pro's underground lurk. Now SPE have control and Papichulo right before he gets done, even after he gets done. Prowess in terms of taking the side is brilliant and uh, Fancy are not able to do anything to stop them because they've got no utility per se, but here they go on the retake. Fishio gets one. Aziz will trade back as Wukong comes on the backstab. He's got another one as the Fancy are slowly making this work. Papitulo will get the trade back. It's a three versus two. The attack still have a bit of utility to work with, but it doesn't matter because Wukong, he's going to take out everybody he can in sight, even with his utility and his aim. Pretty good, as uh, pretty good symmetry. Well, then we do have the Malcomon available along oh, with boy. the Shore Stopper, and that could be problems. What? But, that's just unfortunate. That is okay. so, so unfortunate for him. Aziz, in the meantime, will peek around the corner. Has a relay ball to work with. Just a tad bit quicker than his opponent. Fishy, in the meantime, trying to backstab. Can you find the angle? That is going to be the question. It is still a 2v2. With a kill being disabled down there. Aziz, in the meantime, he's not going to stop. Gets a attack. He's got support coming in. Aziz, he's got a person towards B-Man, and he doesn't look aiming for him. He doesn't look in the right direction. Turns around in the speed that he is walking in already, running in already, as a retake situation comes in, which I think Fancy are going to win pretty comfortably given their exact positioning of attack. Yeah, so the least was this time around just being all one side of the map. What about the other? They clear it off completely, which means no backstabs for the moment, at least. As they spotted out where the Tour de Force is, now they're going to be playing a little bit safer. They'll try and play as safe as they can, but is that going to be enough? I don't think so, because yes, I can just speaks around the corner and slaps as he's into his next life. Poppy Hugo in the meantime, finding that pick, equalizing the situation, rolling thunder. Of course, massive problem, but in the meantime, that sees and the orbital strike is well not being used as a combo, but disrupting them enough to be able to get those picks and look at that yes i can getting the pick and now they have the rolling thunder available that he could use but it might just be too late it might be a little too late does he realize the player is right oh, next to no it's not too late good time and that gives them a good round three and four Ooh. but oh my god wukong gets absolutely smothered in the face as there is a good stun from the teammate of uh kishi which allows him to get one kill but is he gonna be able to escape no is the answer given by Papitulo, and there comes the chaos no command and they get the a side emptied up dying like that especially on an eco round all alone where you can't get a trade but is he in the meantime holding it close jaw will get taken down and is he is coming in on the back side they need to make this happen but the problem is they've all been spotted one more kill he will have the running back available but he is going to get stunned by that fall lane that is such a massive problem one versus two uses the now are going to be pushing on this chance and they're letting wukong do the talking with his vandal as the good crossfire has been set up here peak off wukong expects it but he still will not be able to clear it it will not be Wait. clear, but that offer shock being on point. <laughs> what in what? the world is even happening? I don't understand this game sometimes, but it is Grim in a one versus two. Flippy gets two. Can you find the third as well? That is not going to happen. Yes, I can. We'll shut him down. Wukong has pushed up towards uh, the rope. And we'll try and take that fight in case they come their way. But John needs to stay alive. The fast lane being used. And yes, I can. <gasps> the orbital strike. So he knew exactly what Ooh. was up and decided to run away. But he still gets the kill with the aftershock. What in the world is happening? Aziz, once again, they have the rolling thunder available. And yes, I can. Can start going in now. Does have a flash point. Does he use it? Is the question. He should. But gets the first oh, one. Nails beautiful. the second as well inside in that alley. Get him, getting himself the quad kill. He's going to go in for DS. He wants to. But can he find it? Exactly where South Build are. But Aziz is running straight in for this attack, and ooh, what a ooh. shot! Oh my god! Aziz, literally speed running that entry frag, but Fancy, they won't, they won't let this line either. Oh, ooh. the showstopper being taken on! That was so, so crucial for the opposition, but of course, being taken on in a manner like that with the showstopper is just, just sad. But then again, Nizzy, what in the world are you doing? Two duelists to, you know, make all of the work. Cap, look at this, exactly. Oh my god. It was not Nizzy, but it was Fischio and Kishi coming on the back, but they get three whoever comes their way.
how do you even how do you even approach this as you know the people who are gonna try and get that spike now there's gonna be there's gonna be five people swinging on them together you know there is uh the saying spray and pray and that's all you can do but the hunt going and trying to find some information that they will oh my lord i was on quite the to, to go against especially while you're attacking but then again, uh, the cover ball being used, and Aziz trying his best to get that oh, pick will get taken down, and Nizzy as well getting one for himself. So they do get those two openings that they needed at this point. All Fisher needs to do is just hold the backs up, which he might just be able to. Harpy Jewel, I'm not quite sure if he expects him. Oh, he does. He does expect him, and Proro equalizing the situation. Getting one more, as a matter of fact. It all comes out of the fade and the Phoenix. Nizzy trying his best to stay alive, but will it get taken down? Will he get overwhelmed? But both these players are really low to question this guy. Oh! Out, which has brought himself down to 10 HP, but that's okay. As long as he is going to keep himself working with those numbers, he's going to be okay. Derns, okay. A little bit of trouble over here as they don't take their corners, but Fukishi! Hello, he finds two out of nothing. And the plant's actually gone down towards B. South Build have been playing a game of Ring of Roses as they've been outdone by one fade. And he's continuing to do the damage. Okay. Resisted a little bit. Will Ja find another one? No, this time he will not. Swings out to only find four players ready for him. And now Flippy goes out of a fade ultimate. He is stuck in a really bad position, but he still gets one. And as he does as well, as now Southfield are retaining their man advantage. And by his pro, it's another. And Fishi is going to run away to towards the spike, but the problem is... He's creeping up slowly, universe. He's creeping up. This is problem. But no, Fishi actually handles it. He expects it right about on time. And now they've got a plan and they've got man advantage. And coupled that with two round winning ultimates for the retake. Forgive me, for the post, post plan. And this KO ultimate kind of seeming to be a little useless at the moment because they're not really pushing Fancy to their mark. Well, Fischio, look, here's the thing. doesn't matter if, <laughs> if you're in the oh, one with me. Yeah, there's Rolling only two players there, but there's rotations coming in instantly as Nizzy is making his way down. That There is a person detected, but Papi Chulo gets away just about. Flippy gets two, though, including the ultimate of the Phoenix. As now, it is a 4v5. The ultimates are keeping the side of SB on at bay. As Wukong gets his out as well. And there goes the showstopper. Doesn't need actually uh, to get that kill because Fichio does it for them. And out comes Yes I Can. Fight one. Ooh, fight. Nizzy taking so much damage with that incendiary, if I'm not mistaken. But the curveball being utilized to alarming onto, onto the side. And John will get taken down. But a quick trade coming in. Flippy will taking down Wukong as well. Replies like, nope, not today. But still a 2v3. Oh! And no, oh my lord. Flippy, what in the Flippy. world are you doing? He's still surviving, but he's not going to get spotted because his weapon that is so unfortunate yes i cannot seeing him because his gun was blocking him he's oh, going to regret just... he's going to regret using the right hand model over here but fishio oh god is in a one versus two once again south but prime for success but again taking a 1v1 fight in a 2v1 scenario oh, he's out the yes, breach alt, uh, forgive me the breach hand he should be expecting that fault line to come in now first it's gonna probably be a prowler and good stuff but he still gets the kill Ja, that is such amazing patience from him that he wins that round for the team probably with just that kill as Pro gets two towards B main. Give me A main. He might have taken one back and he's gonna be taken out himself as the ultimate to come. We never really know, but Ja's been so good with his chamber and the operator. He's getting those first picks. No. What? what? This ever yeah. gets two! Okay. Fancy United, they didn't have weapons to work with, but. HP clutch. See if he's gonna be right able here. to get another Jump kill here. Off. Flippy. He's got the side of arcade covered as out comes Nizzy and he goes for the kill, but Flippy's ready for it. And the ultimate from the KO is gonna be perfect, but Wukong gets one back. Now he's got his showstopper ready. 35 seconds to go. Can Fancy pull another miracle? Fire in the hole! 30 seconds well, left. Can or can they? I don't know. I don't know, but. They need to pull this miracle off. The problem is Wukong is on 30 parts of health. No damage being dealt out with that showstopper. And it all comes down to the fade in a one versus four. But that's not going to be possible. Then South Belt Esports walking away with the first map as expected, at least historically, with the data. Because look, South Belt has been wonderful. Drops in his uh, teleporter. The rendezvous. Never mind. He thinks the footstops is going to be enough. 
Knife is just taken out. They isolate Ooh. the fights, and Nizzy will get the trade as soon as Aziz goes down. 13 seconds, and they still get the entry. Ten seconds left. They do get the entry, but they need to break the door, which they will. It is delay 3 4 retake for the defenders. But Fancy United trying the best to fake that side. They didn't buy it, but it still worked out. That was too close for comfort, 100%. But they did a good job of draining the utility of the opposition, which they won't have any of while retaking. But the flash being primed up, it won't matter because yes, I can will get taken down. But at the, at the same time, well, they need to start making things happen. They need to start moving in. Oh my lord, that, that C is going to be such a big problem. The fragment forcing him out, which he was trying to do regardless. What? He gets one pick. How in the world does he still manage to get one pick? Seconds on the clock, they need to make it happen. But Pro will try and get his try his best to get that pick. It won't matter because the spike is still going to go down. South Bill Esports were in such a commanding position in this round. And suddenly, now it's a one versus two with Flippy, the, the sole person surviving on the team. Fancy and out at Esports. Once again, just pulling it back on the jaws of defeat. And Kishi, oh, there's no well, doubt about that. But Papa Chulo. Is going to be waiting with the flash drive. No one peek around the corner. It's going to blind everyone. And that was so much utility being used and so much value being created with that piece of utility as well. The promise Pop Shooter doesn't realize there's a player right below him. Well, yeah, taking normal job with the quick trade. On to Nizzy. It still gets reduced to a 2v3. Fancy United, a man down. But they were two man down the last time. And they still managed to pull it back off. And Jaw will get taken down. This is exactly what one I'm talking about. Pain shots being used as well. Kishi was stuck between a rock and a hard place he does have the ultimate available but will use a short step to try and peek around the corner oh no no that was so unfortunate the rendezvous being stuck there will absorb a bullet but the satchel will force him back again he gets first one he finds the first oh, thing no. there. but it is dangerous it's scary when you've still got nizzy alive who if he peeks out like this does not get the kill there is one towards lane which he does not turn to readjust the KOs are now going to be fighting against each other as Wukong running in knows that the back of sight is where he's going to have his opponent occupied. Throwing in flashes, grenades, everything he possibly can. And it's up to this man right here to keep it alive. But no, Papichulo, he has only a sheriff to work with. And now it's up to Ja, gets a third kill. Kishi, 1v2. An operator that's been really, really good this round. We'll find a fourth as well. Four bullets, four kills for this man. Pay off because you have the fade on the backs up, bro. Is going to be holding this. Is he going to find the That is a question. That's Paul. Oh, get no. Taken down. Fischio will not be shut down over there. Oh, Lord. Ja and Papi Shulo once again just being so aggressive. That curveball is not going to make a difference. Even though he was blind, he managed to get the pick. And Ja has been so, so impactful with that operator and the chamber and the aggression that he showed. So much confidence, right? And he's being fearless. But gets one oh more. God. Wukong gets taken down. And this round might just go salt builds away once again. Unless, of course, they end up pulling one more miracle off. We've seen that happen 2v4. It has happened before in this match. Can they manage to make it happen again? That is the question. But right now, it does look like they have a wonderful crossfire and uh, flippy. But the mid region is of contention. A blind Aziz will satchel out from there. But he's still got so much more coming his way. And the satchel actually helps Kishi. <laughs> he actually pushes him off the crosshair mark. And now it's SBE actually blinding their own teammates. Bro could have gotten a kill there. And now he is on site. There is the Astro Wall to protect him, but not for too long. Oh my god, <laughs> what do you do when you got four players jumping in like that? Well, you don't have four players jumping in like that, but Flippy is what we're waiting. But he's going to get shut down over there because of the Darko. He can't push in one versus five. There's only so much you can do. So, Half a second's what? difference between the flash coming through and the knife affecting him. The wall will keep them safe. They're running into the side. Fischio finds Papichulo for a shot. And Kishi's run in as well. Ja might have found one kill. Bro's going to get another. And Ja doubles up and teleports to the lower side. He's still in the fight. He doesn't care. He wants to make this work. He's not giving up his positioning. And that's just brilliant stuff. Ja gets one. But yes, I can. Brings it to a 1v1, and he's still got an ultimate left as well. Spot to the last bird. Oh, that wall, that, that is pretty, pretty creative. Yeah, it is actually. Papatulo's not been depicted by this uh, grenade. It has gone behind him. As everybody's taking control of the B site now. Aziz not gonna be all oh, both he and yes, I can reblind it. So he got lucky for a second, but not the second time. 
Nancy will find their entry onto the B side as the plan will go down. And now it is a post plan with the ultimate of Phoenix coming through and he's gonna get a kill for free. Bukong just swings out and gets another what the hell? In, they've played this Phoenix so many times on this map. They just love all oh, the timing of that smoke. Jacques could have probably gotten a kill and gotten away. But it's, again, his own teammate utility is gonna be blocking him from getting a kill. Now he guns straight into that Prowler and he's gonna get taken out. No, he's actually not. He gets a kill. Make that a double? What the hell just happened? Kishi again running into towards... You see, in the meantime, we'll have to fall back because he has been spotted by the Prowler. But look at this. Yes, I can. Now falling back. The curveball is ready. He is going to go in and just about a second. And lighting two players, but can he find the big? He can! Oh my goodness. Wukong has all the fragment. That was absolutely on point and fancy. Oh, here we go. Fancy United. You've got everybody in place and uh they're going in for the retake and that first kill was going to be the most important probably for pro and it is a flawless pistol round as they will be making the best out of what they've got and the retake as the a site is completely taken control of well they've, they've matched the control of the side but they still have the Fade KO along with the Phoenix available for the retake, which will make their life difficult. But Aziz, once again, just being so aggressive, they do have the Nebula, I'm assuming, that they can use with the Haunt coming in, which is not going to give away any information whatsoever. The Crawler is well being taken out of the equation, but they use it, use it as a Noah. Won't matter. Yes, I can. We'll get taken down. Control. As uh, now, we've got the attack taking control in terms of not just map but also first kills and that's awarding them so much more space to work with but look at flippy oh boy yes i can if you might have gotten one but there comes and there's gonna be the phoenix expiring with his ultimate and he comes right to the hands of flippy but on site it's one person who was standing who's now on his knees and he's hoping for his teammate to revive him to bring him back but no he goes to the dead and this he will send whilst all of this is happening the A side is already getting a plant down. Now, finally, you are the patience of Nizzy being rewarded as it is a 4v5 with man advantage in the hands of the defense. Well, they do have a man advantage in their hand, but I don't think that's going to matter. Oh, Aziz does get uh, suppressed over there, but... While he does manage to find one, he will lose his life quickly and that null command coming into play, which I don't think is, is, is going to make that big of a difference. They, they, they did have a haunt available, no doubt, but he needs to push and he can't be waiting over here. The spike's already been marked, I'm assuming, and he needs to swing that, but can he, can he make it happen? That is a question. Oh, finds the first pick. But does he or at least a Noah to slow down or shut down the push from, from the defender base. Concealment. This 4v4 is going to depend on that Fate Ultimate working. There it goes. They found where Flippy is, but he's going straight in for the attack. Oh my god, Flippy! He just rushes straight in and finds two! That's not supposed to happen! He gets a third as well and Pro will... Man alive, or machine alive, on the attacking side. Oh, yes, I can though. He will get taken down. That is not going to make a difference as easy as well. Just gets that pick and jog. Comes in. Chimes in with a pick for himself, but it all comes down Nizzy all alone, so it doesn't work oh, out man. for them. That aggression, if anything, all it backfired. That was such a crucial buy round, and I was talking about over time, but you're right, this might as well just get closed out in the favor of South, South Build Esports because the cash is going to be in shambles wow. for Fancy United. Once again, oh, is he going to get taken down? I don't know, but that combo, we do have the running back available, which is going to get shut down, but Kishi finding one for himself, once again, reducing it to a 2v4. This oh. is incredible work from Fancy United, and they they are holding on in one versus two. This is going to go just waiting, waiting, and waiting. Nerves of steel on him. Twenty seconds on the clock needs to go to be. He's deciding to, but the problem is he's going to walk right into the Hornets' nest with two players looking in his direction. Needs to find the first one. Does find the first one. He find the second. Oh no! The reload. Disable that Ray's flying in. If at all Aziz chooses to run in, Flippy gets one. Flippy, how do you get two? No way! He finds two again, this man! This is not supposed to be possible. They find the entry. There is a lot of utility being dumped in. Kishi, he's hoping to find a kill and he will. The grenade will isolate the fight and there comes the fate ultimate. But the showstopper misses him just about. Missy will take the trade. He gets two. Fancy turning around and throw 
is in a 1v1 against the Fade? It is a lot of value for it, but no, he's decided to use it close and doesn't want to use it backside. So now maybe he knows that the only possible angles are two green boxes or backside, but he expects him backside. This is oh, this yeah. is <laughs> one gets blinded and gets away to safety. He's got information. Well, he's got the information, but it won't matter. Wukong is just going to go and gets that opening that is so, so crucial for them. But Southwell Esports are struggling right now. That is the problem with Fancy United looking so strong. Are tearing into Southwell's defense. And now it comes down to a 2v5. They've dish out so much damage that I don't think Southwell will be able to bounce back, at least in this round itself. But, of course, Fancy United Esports, for now, will try their best to close things down even in the next round, because this one they've practically won. He's just creeping up, does find that pick. Oh. He knew there has to be one toward short, but they both found picks for themselves. Two seconds in, they will have a haunt available that he will use for underheaven. Jump on the side. Does he have info? He does, but that is not enough. Does he have enough time? I don't hands. think so. It's, it's, like, it's like deja vu happening again in what we've seen in, in at least three to four rounds across the entirety of SB's attack. They're running straight in. A lot of bullets being spammed across both sides. Ja will be the first one finds. Flippy gets another. Trade need to come through. But Fancy are ready for anything and everything. Bike down A. 1v2. And it's up to the main man himself. 27 frags. Teleport. They know he's there. A smoke separating him and two players. But they're going to be playing the double. Because of that gravity well. As uh, SB currently holding back this attack with their utility. But Kishi's ready with his own. He drops down it, and they peek out, and somehow it doesn't work out for them. The double peek from Fancy is just a little bit more stronger, and now it's up to the one man who was standing is now sleeping dead. Ja is the only one left. 1v5. With even how good he's been so far in the entire series, even he cannot pull out a clutch this big unless he wants to prove me wrong. Please do go ahead by all means. 30 seconds left. Well... 1v3, all three players towards, uh, towards Seelong. Only so much he can hope for. One of them peeks out. Stun comes through. Stuck to the left side corner. Still gonna get another. Ja makes it a little bit difficult for us. SB will find the back of sight cleared, and now they gotta fight the front. The retake in the 5v5. Well, making a 4v5, making it a 3v5. That is working out in Salt Bill's favor. The question is, yes, I can. Can he hold him off? Because he gets one for himself as well, reducing it to a 2v3, and they need to make it happen. They need to get those picks, and fancy, they will make it happen. They do have a crowd to the work with. Aziz, once again, just holding the port, holding the line, but can he stay alive long enough? He doesn't just stay alive. to get that pick, but of course, there's a lot of hips and butts, and Jai doesn't usually miss those shots with the... <laughs> But the moment I say it misses the first shot and gets taken down exactly by the weapon that we were both talking about and the one that we won't dread if you get the first shot right. The Spectre getting that kill on the Tour de Force is massive value for that. Wukong, does he have any more shot steps? Nope, that he does not. The spike is going to plant it and of course Flashpoint trying to force him back. Can he find the first pick? Yes, indeed he does. Flippy is a great ultimate, so they're playing off of this site to make sure that it doesn't affect them. Fancy though, seems like they might get a free pass after all, but what they're depending on, SB, is that flank coming in. It's keeping them busy. Is he's going in for an aggressive peak, loses his life as Papi Chulo. He is gonna be taking charge, but he's gonna be been sent high up in the air. Even before that, wait, did he find did he find Fischio in the air, stunned? Ultimate, okay, doesn't work out for Aziz. No, it doesn't, does not get any kill. Nor does he actually give any damage to anybody. And Kishi's gonna be the one to inflict that damage. And now they run in. Wukong, is he gonna take this corner? No, he's not. And a stunned Papi Tula finds the one kill that he was supposed to get. Out goes Pro because he was getting the Cs coming his way. And Fancy will clear out the entire site. And this one-way smoke is gonna keep Ja at bay. Well, Ja will try his best but it won't be enough that is a problem flippy in the meantime finding two for himself reducing it to a 2v2 and just still holding the angle can he fight can he find the pick that is a question he needs to go away in the fault line coming in as well but i don't think that's going to make an end but flippy will get taken down and jaw has been hurt right now that is a massive problem he will go over maybe stuff. that's the difference between him him and i or maybe him him and you because clearly that's the reason why he's playing so better right so much better but jokes apart Ja will fall back this time around he's not going to fall prey to the opposition and Fancy United only losing their chamber, which is a problem. But then again, double peeking towards me in that paranoia coming in, which is 
so unfortunate. I don't know if that was a teammate or was it? Did it come in from short? I think it came in from short, didn't it? Yeah, yeah, it did, it did. Oh, but there comes another two players from short as the force has been thinned out to one player each on both sides. Oh, Flippy, he might just have the jump and he will have the jump. He gets. Like Yume just walked into the crowd over there. He was outside and Cash and Yusuf walks in, but he does have the paranoia available. Poppy Chuo. Oh no, the information is going to get relayed that there is a player on the right, but oh no, how does he get two? He had no business getting one or then he gets two on the short. Oh my god, Saltal Esports decimating the attack that came in there along with the nightfall as well. So so much utility being used. The toward the force being forced as well. And he misses the shot. Nizzy, you can't be missing those. You absolutely cannot afford to miss those shots. And this is not the first time we We've seen him miss crucial shots. We, we saw that on the sand. We saw it over here. Ja gets taken down, but he's operating. We'll have to succumb to this B attack and play on the retake. They will have to play on the retake, no doubt about that. But yes, I can. For now, he's just going to wait along with the Seamer to see if they can find an opening over there. But Pro, still stuck. But he's not going to miss that one, is he? Gets one more, as a matter of fact. He will have the haunt in 15 seconds, but he needs to stay alive. It is, it is going to be a 3 5 retake. And it's not going to be easy because they have all the players surviving. And no information that they will pull out the haunt, which is not going to give them any information whatsoever. But the meat like grinder for Southfield Esports, mid control has been at the forefront of whatever executes they want to do but that paint and i'm not quite sure if that was planned to go there but of course the aftershock is going to stop flushing these players out and delay the push as well and yes i can he will struggle when he gets the first and needs to find the second which will not happen but jaw will find that pick but fancy united striking back one by one by one reducing it to a 3v1 and it all comes down to jaw the man the myth the legend himself who's been stepping up for the team whenever his team called for help in a one versus three he needs to pull this off can he though? He wants to aggress in. He wants to push in. He does get spotted though. He's gonna fall back towards the side. There is a flashpoint available, which he needs to avoid, but he might just get overwhelmed. That is a problem. Guys, the first one. Question, that is a question. He is priming the flashpoint. He wants to go in. His team wants to go in as well. But yes, I can only get spotted. Has a judge to work with. But the problem is the range and the pain shells will force him back. A lot of damage being dished out as well. But Aziz needs to Ooh. find that fishio. Well, connect that shot. And now it is a 5v3 retake, which they might as well just pull off. But I'm not quite sure. Ooh! Sunfield Esports getting those crucial picks, reducing it to a 2 to somehow managing to bounce back it right into the run. Pop Chudo once again playing super aggressive. Gets one where he shouldn't even get half a kill. 28 points of health to run. Literally built different, pulling these rounds back in the favor. But Kishi is holding close. Can he make this happen? That is a question. They do have the fault line available. A lot. And oh, look. Fancy United. As a matter of fact, they do have the Rolling Thunder available. And now suddenly they have two picks to work with. Are they going to use the Rolling Thunder? That is a question, though. That they will. Now they want to use it. This is a massive problem because all the players have been tagged by the Rolling Thunder, as far as I know. And I'm aware. And that is such. They're dropping down the smokes. They're getting in the side. The stuns are coming through. The recons are coming through. They've got the side in control, and now it is a 5v5 fully fledged, no damage given yet retake. Well, it is it is like that a couple of times, but of course we do have Yes I Can using that ring under Heron to make sure if there is anybody there, they can flush them out, but Wukong is primed with the paranoia. Can they make this happen? That is a question, but Ja, like the first player, go, oh, that rolling no thunder way. is going to be so, so impactful. Is he going to let him go? He no! Oh my god, no! That should have that should have happened, but fancy esports. Disadvantage, but look at the amount of information they have. The Astra is slowly creeping up from sea long. The Omen will quickly start rotating the moment there is contact, but the fault line is going to slow them down enough. Just enough. I feel like this is not the best of choices to do, but Kishi will jump down and will get taken down. You know what? At this point, no chance. They can, they can get the strong back. I don't I don't see it happening. Yes, I can. On the other hand, though, just waiting it out. Flippy, for now, he's just going to wait. Can he find the pick, though? Ooh. That is a question. No, he, he can. He can. Man, snappy. He's as snappy as it gets. Nizzy's been missing most of his shots in this round. Finally, he connects one. He spots the other. No, Nizzy. They found my trap. He's been having an off day today, it seems. And even on his off day... He's up on 18 kills. Esports, but look at the aggression coming from the defenders. They are going to use the knife. Oh, I'm, I'm going to push in. They will push in. Oh my lord, that flash was on point. But no, 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 no. Southfield Esports are ready for this. They get two picks for themselves. 
not just reduce that mad advantage, but also take it away. But now, fancy, they might lose out on one more player. This aggression wasn't really needed. Uh, right now, if you would ask them, they'd probably say no, because they've lost four, three players. Fancy, they still yeah. believe in their aggression. They believe in their ability. This time, Fischio needed to believe that somebody could be pushed up from A. Kishi, last man left standing. Got the breach coming his way. They're going to have a back, and it's going to be 4 v 5 With a big ultimate available as well on the raise. He needs to stay alive. Aziz needs to stay alive. Okay, this... Yo, being caught with this pants down over there, but oh my lord, he does get the pick on Nizzy along with Slippy. Sorry, Slippy getting that pick and Papi oh, isn't gonna boy. come down either, and they might just be closing in towards the, towards the run that they also want.